health to you, fellow Ukrainians. I started the day of May 1st with an hour-long meeting with all levels of government and defense. The head of government, ministers, the office, the commander-in-chief, the heads of the main intelligence directorate and the foreign intelligence service, the head of the security service and the National Security and Defense Council secretary delivered reports. The first issue is the consequences of Russian strikes, including missile attacks. During the night on May 1st, from midnight to 7 in the morning, we managed to shoot down 15 Russian missiles. But unfortunately, not all of them. Not all of them yet. We are working with our partners as actively as possible to make the protection of our skies even more reliable. At the morning meeting, we discussed the enemy's likely actions in the near future and coordinated our defensive steps. Separately, we discussed the issue of weapons and ammunition for other warriors, also the situation on the still-occupied territory and counteraction to Russia. No chance for the occupier on our land, only destruction for the enemy. Here is just one example – Chernihiv region, the village of Lezunivka, in the north of the region, near the state border. There, a Russian air bomb destroyed another Ukrainian school. Unfortunately, this strike took the life of a teenager, a boy born in 2009, 14 years old. He was just near the school. My condolences to the family and friends. Pavlohrad, Dnipropetrovsk region. Terrorists' missiles claimed the lives of two people, young guys. My condolences to the families. 40 more people, women, children and men, received medical aid after injuries and traumas. For every such attack, the Russian invaders will receive our response, and I thank all of our warriors who ensure this every day and every night. They defend our positions, repel Russian assaults, help their brothers in arms who are nearby in the positions and destroy the occupier to the maximum. The more Ukrainians are accurate, the more Ukrainians support each other, the faster the Russian evil will be destroyed. I am grateful to all our partners who see the common task of Ukraine and the world in this way, the obvious defeat of the terrorist state and a just peace for Ukraine and the whole of Europe. On May 1st I held several meetings on our diplomatic work, which brings us closer to such a peace, a just peace, such an outcome of this war, the defeat of the occupier. I also had several telephone conversations. I thanked Canada and Prime Minister Trudeau personally for the continued support of our country. We are preparing a program of long-term defense cooperation between Ukraine and Canada. This is very important. Canada has already started confiscating Russian assets. This is a significant example for everyone else in the world. We discussed sanctions pressure and our political cooperation. I also spoke with Prime Minister Hipkins of New Zealand. I thanked him for the principal stance in defense of international law. New Zealand is often among the leaders in sanctions restrictions. I also thanked for New Zealand's participation in training our soldiers. We agreed to work on greater consolidation on the Pacific region countries to protect international rules. And one more thing. May 1st marks the 10th anniversary of the foundation of one of Ukraine's most glorious military units. The 140 Separate Special Operations Center. These are very skilled warriors, determined, strong and extremely experienced. They took part in the defense and liberation of the Kyiv region, Bucha, Hostomel, Borodyanka and other towns and villages, as well as the liberation of Izium and Chuhuiv in the Kharkiv region. They carried out strategically important missions in the southern areas and fought hard against the occupiers in Donbass. Thank you, warriors! Ukraine will always remember your courage and will never forget those warriors who gave their lives in the battle for the state. May our country's victory in this war honor them. Glory to all those who are in combat for Ukraine. Glory to all who protect and save our people. Glory to Ukraine!